Hi everyone, this is Julia Doherty from Green Umbrella and today I want to show you a new tool that I've been playing with uh, for the last week or so and it's called Email Hunter. Um, now I've previously been using a um, thing called referyes.com to find people people's email addresses online rather than having to learn different techniques to search Google, that sort of thing. Um, but it's been throwing up some really sort of naff results lately so I really wanted to look for something that was a little bit more reliable and I stumbled upon Email Hunter and it's just brilliant and the reason it's brilliant is because it actually integrates as well with Google Chrome so I've got a lovely little Google Chrome extension which I'll show you in a second but the best thing about it is it integrates with LinkedIn. So I'm on LinkedIn every day and for you recruiters out there you were just going to love this so let me show you. So if I go onto LinkedIn and say I'm going to do a search for somebody, so I was going to do Melody Thompson, there she is, so I'll connect. Okay, um, obviously this is, I can get her email just because I'm a first connection anyway um, from here, but if I wasn't, this still works, so if I was a second or a third connection, this still works. Now you can see I've got this lovely big red button here that says Email Hunter, and that's because I've installed the app onto my Google Chrome. Um, if I literally just click Email Hunter, it's now looking for Melody's address and it's given me an address where I can connect with her. It's also given me another one which also relates to Melody and actually this is the one that I really wanted to connect with her for so I can just copy that uh, and send her a, a personalised email rather than doing it through LinkedIn. So I don't know about you but I tend to switch off when it comes to LinkedIn emails. You know I've got loads up here that I haven't even probably opened uh, and I'll just get round to it when I get five minutes but if I actually have a proper email that comes into my inbox um, I tend to read them. So actually I think emailing direct rather than through LinkedIn actually works better. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you about Email Hunter. The second thing is if you um, want to have a look and you want to find somebody's email address you can actually just do it using a website. So if you go onto a website, I've just brought one up here, and use the Google Chrome extension over here on the far right hand side, so click here, um, and it just does a search on the email addresses that are within the website. Um, and obviously this is a smaller company but a larger company you start to see a pattern of what the email address is um, so you know philippa.heart at heartrecruitment.co.uk if I wanted to talk to perhaps somebody else within the business I've got an idea of what their, um, what their email address is going to be then what you can do is you can guess your email address and actually you can click there and verify it that it is a proper email or you can actually do it in the software itself which is over here for verify. So I'm just going to log in, actually before I do that let me show you the pricing. So I said it's free of charge and it is free of charge. Um, so it's free of charge um, up to 150 searches or emails a month. Um, which is actually, if you ask me, that's quite a lot. But obviously, if you're doing recruitment, you may want to increase that, or perhaps you want to increase your database and stuff like that. This is quite an, an active search thing. Then obviously, you start paying for things as things go through. Um, but you know, for majority of everyday SMEs, probably the free ones absolutely perfect. So I'm going to log in quickly. So I'm logged in. As you can see, I'm on the free plan. Um, if I put in here uh, all the W's or HTTP. If I just put my address in and then press enter, it will give me all the email addresses that are listed. Oh, there's one obviously spelt wrong there on mine, um, on our website. Um, you can do the personal or just generic as well. But you get the point, that it actually works brilliantly. So if I go into verification and if I just put in my email address, can't spell and then click verify. It says yes, that's a bona fide email address. Anyway, I really hope that helps. I absolutely love it. Have a play, let me think what you know. Uh, let me think, let me think. Can't get my words out today, but have a play uh, and let me know what you think. All right, that's me signing out for another day. I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.